Impossibility is a word that people use that refuse to identify with the greatness within themselves. You believe that the impossible can't become possible? You are holding on to doubt and fear, despair, thinking you at the end of your rope. If you're willing to do the impossible, Somebody that says that something is impossible has not tapped into the power of their will. You can't do what everybody else is doing and think you're going to do something great. You got to do something different. You got to do something extra. Listen to me. You have to think it all the time. You got to think about it when you're sleeping. You have to breathe it all the time. You have to visualize it all the time. You have to be transforming all the time. But now is not the time to give in. Now is not the time to give up. Now is the time to double down. You get yourself in a position where you start to doubt yourself. You have no faith. You don't trust what's coming next. But there is nothing that could come out of this if you don't have the faith and the capabilities of pushing forward. Impossibility versus possible is a matter of the will. People that get the job done, they have a will to get it done. So many of us are so focused on the how, and we say the how is so cumbersome, it is so daunting, it is so hard, so challenging, that I don't want to do it because, because that how is too crazy. The how doesn't matter. It's, it's the why. If it don't challenge you, it won't change you. If it won't challenge you, it won't change you. People ask me, would you let success change you? Listen to me. People got it twisted. It ain't about, will success change you? You got to change in order to get success. The change happens first. If you want the impossible to become possible for you, you got to believe in yourself. You got to go make it happen. No more waiting for it to happen. No more blaming. No more excuses. No more accepting mediocrity. Stop blaming your mama. Stop blaming your daddy. Stop blaming your neighborhood. Stop blaming your husband. Stop blaming your wife. Stop blaming people. Start grinding. And the only difference between people who lose and people achieve is the person who achieved tried one more time. You must understand that you are a unique individual and you have all the things that you need within you. I need you to go find a mirror right now and tell yourself, I'm possible. I'm possible. I'm possible. What is impossible is possible for those who believe. Stop thinking about they. Start thinking about you. Everything is not going to go the way you want it to go. You have to understand that the struggle must happen. Weakness will come. And all of these things that you are enduring right now in your life is just going to teach you rather than necessarily break you. You don't have to give in to these circumstances. But you can learn from them. You can give it what it needs, but don't give in to the weakness and the satisfaction of giving up. There is nothing that can come of this. There's nothing that you can achieve of this. Don't satisfy the misery. Instead, satisfy the hunger to be more than what you are today. Turn the impossible to the possibility. How long does it take for you to respond and get back to you, back to your grind, back to your dreams? Adversity hit last time and you quit. Adversity hit last time and you threw in the time. Not this time. No, 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 because you're stronger. Not this time, uh uh, because you're smarter. Not this time, because you're more determined. When was the last time you believed in you? You believed in everybody else. 
you bled this long, you cried this long, you have suffered this long. The moment that you accept the fact that if you will shift your perspective, that your perspective is no longer your prison, but it is your passport, it is your plane. You got to have the grit and the tenacity to push forward and give it a little bit more than what you have right now. You got to sacrifice your feelings. You got to sacrifice your emotions. You got to sacrifice your sleep. You got to sacrifice your own way of thinking. You got to sacrifice your own way of doing. You got to sacrifice your own way of being. You got to sacrifice the old you so you can become the new you. You got to make sacrifices if you ever want the impossible to become possible for you. You have to work due diligently. You have to believe that there's more work that has to be done day in and day out. Sometimes you may even feel defeated. But just because you feel defeated doesn't mean that you are. You may be depleted, but you're not defeated. And you have to have the will to carry on. This message is for everybody and anybody that has enough guts to believe that they were born to make a difference, that they were born to make history. I refuse to be average. I am allergic to average. I was born to leave a mark. Impossible. It's possible. So continue to fight forward. Continue to believe in yourself. Hold on to the possibilities. Get away from the negativity. Push yourself, believe in yourself, and go as far as you can.